So my shooting partner for today's exercise is BAD. BAD, Black Army dude. Bad, welcome back. Good to be back. Glad to have you. Yeah. He did some great testing with us for the Tavor. Yeah. Speaking of which, how'd you like that? I like the weapon. Heavy trigger pull, you always hear me say that, but yeah. definitely love one. You hit good with it. Did, did. So, good times, man. A yeah. little bit less wind today. Yeah, a little bit less wind. Hopefully a little bit less running. <laughs> I will never promise that. Yeah, yeah. The cool thing is it's just you and I. We don't have to worry about PFI dude bugging us because he's not here today. Yeah. Too bad. We missed him though. We don't miss him. <laughs> not at all. Not at all? No, we do. He's busy today at the yeah. store, so he could make it. Two-man crew. This it. video will be called the Pocket 9 Shootout. Check it. On the table, we have seven, seven representatives of what I feel are some of the best subcompact 9 millimeter pistols made in the world with one exception the LCR that is a 38 special version not the 357 and I just thought it'd be fun to run that one yeah it'll be interesting to see how the dynamics of ha having to shoot on our uh, pocket 9 drill with the with a five shot revolver will, will do exactly you know, I've never used a speed loader before for a revolver Right, and and so I'll go through that with you, so yeah. you're kind of, you know, yeah. prepped of, of yeah. what my technique is uh, as we run it, because we're going to be running kind of a fast and furious drill here with these pistols. I don't know if this will be a multi-part, single part. I'm going to compress the video as much as I can, uh, but the LCR is going to play in the game. Right next to it is by request from thousands of TMPers. Finally got one for you guys: the Smith and Wesson Shield. I predict we're both going to love it. I think we're going to like it. I think we really will. Bad actually owns one. He hasn't shot it yet. 9mm version. And uh, I think it's just going to rock. That's my, my gut feeling. Right next to it, man, I haven't shot this gun in about four or five years. It was one of the very first I reviewed in the Net Fancy Project, the Car Arms PM9. It's a car getting rep some representation yeah. in TMP. Yeah. Solid pistol. Shot it a, uh, a handful of times like it reliable okay yeah. we're gonna see Seems we'll good. see what happens it's hard to predict yeah what will choke and what won't glock 26 come on down probably one of your more popular subcompact you know concealed yep. carry models it is thicker than every pistol perhaps not the lcr on the table uh but i absolutely love it it shoots like a full size you can slam in like you see there a glock 17 or a glock 19 mag for extra firepower if you can take the extra thickness, then it, it'll be great, I think. That's what she said. That's what she said. LC9, Ruger. I'm not totally in love with that gun, bad. Not a fan at all, really. I just have a real hard time warming up to the LC9. You may have seen that in my review. All of these are reviewed, by the way. Except the shield, that'll be coming soon. Uh, what do you not like about trigger it? Trigger pull. Amen, brother. Just straight up trigger pull. I Has hate it been my the trigger on the LC9. And so, I have a hard time hitting with it. Yeah, I'll, I'll go from one gun and then I'll start shooting the LC9, and I just gotta slow everything way down. Yeah. I don't like. I just don't like the trigger. I just don't like how it feels in my hand. The ergonomics, like the Glock or the shield, how yep. it feels in my hand. Yeah. Amen. Keltec PF9. Still love it. You know, some people hate it. They say it slaps their trigger finger when they shoot it. I've never seen that. There have been. Uh, a lot of quality problems on some Caltech guns to include the PF9. There's been some great batches and there have been some batches where, you know, extractors are flying off, people are having some issues with them. Did you see that when you're working the gun store, by the way? Um, yeah. I mean, I, for me, it's just kind of in the same category as the LC9. Just the trigger, I just really don't like the way it feels in my hand. Nothing against Caltech. To me, it just, you know, looks kind of cheap. Uh -huh. You know, uh, I'm I'm a fan of aesthetics. You know, how does a gun look? Yeah. You know, maybe that's just my shallow perception, but I just you know, I've never really been a fan. I kind of group it with the LC9. I just right. Yeah. And you're st you're also a fan of hanging on to a gun that after 1,500 rounds is still unreliable. Apparently, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it works on the range though. It works that's on the range. That's referencing a previous discussion mini yes. video. Check the B channel. Yeah. Uh, 12.7 ounces and super, super thin is the win on yeah, the Caltech. Yeah. There's still none of these guns on the table even come close. Well, that one does. Well, and as far as to the, the price, the price point too. The price is excellent. Yeah. And so if you're looking at getting in an entry level, you know, my Come first on. concealed carry, you know, Caltech PF9 is a great option. Well, I, I will say beyond entry level, yeah. but I, I'm not 
mm-hmm. behold it to any manufacturer on the yeah. table. Yeah. We're going to show you as it happens. If something chokes or blows up or jams, we're showing it. Yes, we will. And we're going to we're going to call it out. Yep. You know, and so bad my own perceptions and uh, you know we all have our own dislikes yeah. and likes. Uh, yeah. Those are going to come out on camera at the end of each run. Roger, yeah, Just really Roger briefly, we'll yeah. say, hey, I like this. I didn't like that. Yeah. And then uh, last, definitely definitely not least, is a SIG 938. That's a Hall of Famer. Yeah. Bad predicts that's the one that's going to jam the most. Am I correct in that? I think it's going to be that one, or I think it's the top the top three on the table, the the, the SIG, the kel or the Ruger, where we're going to experience any issues. Magazine change issues, okay. failure to feed, failure to extract, that kind of thing. And I may be wrong, but again, you know, we'll... we'll okay. We'll My predictions for jams is definitely not the 938. Okay. I would say that either the PM9, okay. not the LC9. That was extremely reliable in testing. It'll be one of these two. Okay. <laughs> not that. I think the shield's going to run. Definitely not the LCR. That's my prediction, is that the PM9 and PF9 are going to have the problems. I have actually had a malfunction on an LCR. Really? Did mm-hmm. the cylinder lock up cylinder or Cylinder locked up would not turn. Oh. So. Oh, okay. Just, I've seen it's it. It's still hard to predict. It is. Uh, a couple caveats. We're going to get going here real quick. Is not every gun that you may love in this category is represented. We just don't have the funds, the time to do it. And there's some guns I just absolutely hate that I never will run. Okay. Uh, for no drama, I won't mention what those are. Uh, and there's some guns I would love to run today, like the Springfield XDS. I don't have one of those okay. in That'd representation. One, yeah. That's a great gun from what I know about it. It's a little bit on the heavy side, I think. But, uh, so that's, that's that. I mean, I can't represent everything. I think you're getting a good representation for a two-man shooting crew. Seven guns. We'll be going through 400 rounds or whatever today. As good as we can make it. All right, here we go. First up, I'm going to go with the Glock 26. I'll just start here and work backwards. And just, uh, they're all loaded up. We're just going to start rocking and rolling. I'm going to grab the timer. Uh, let me explain the course super quick is uh, we're kind of set up here in a very high desert valley just gorgeous and, and since we're shooting pistol and there's nothing out there for uh, freak miles i think we're good uh first stage you're going to shoot what do we see on that two double tap you're going to double tap that guy then come over here and double tap those side plates and then we have some oblique targets uh you're going to shoot five rounds on those sorry if i'm not showing it correctly and you're going to have some unusual shooting positions there. And then you got a strong can, weak can set of plates down there. These ones right here. And the cameraman will help. Well, he's supposed to help the dude, remember. And at the last stage, it's five rounds. So five on that guy, five on the back. I think the total round count was, what, 20 bad? 20. All right. Let me grab the timer and let's rock. Turning it out. This is a pocket pistol shootout, 9mm variety in the Nut and Fancy Project with bad. Excuse cone Standing right by it as you've seen in the nut and fancy project. I can shoot either wicked fast or Extremely accurately, but seldom both at the same time That's what you're probably gonna see here bad roger that try honestly. I haven't shot the Glock 26 In a long time. I just bounced from one gun to another and each gun is going to be its own creature its own dynamic its own trigger pull sight picture so you're probably going to see us make a lot of mistakes as we transition from one platform to the next, right, Bad? That's just exactly how it's going to be. It's just, you know, we're human. We're not experts. We're definitely not full-time shooters. So in that respect, it's actually going to be a good data point for you, the viewer, because chances are you don't get out and shoot that much with your Glock 26, your SIG 938, your LCR. And so that's what we're going to represent. We should almost miss intentionally, just to give them a better, better data point, right? <laughs> we'll miss. <laughs> we will. Maybe miss. I will. I don't know about you. <laughs> I'll miss plenty. All right. I want to go get over here and you give me a beat. Roger. Glock 26, first up. Is that unusual shooting position I was talking about? Looks very uncomfortable. 
Good hits. This is the kneeling. Remember to go to weak hand. Four more on this, bud. Yeah. And then left hand on this. Good hits. I probably shot too much on that, didn't it's okay. I? Okay. This is a five. There we go. I shot too much on this plate. Happens though. Yeah. You know? I just kind of felt that it was giving me a little bit of attitude. Love the Glock 26. I didn't register a time, so whatever. It beeped. <laughs> Great gun. We're running FMJs, of course. 100% reliability. Easy to make kits with a Glock. What's bad to say about it? Just the thickness. That's about all you can say. It's a little bit thicker than the other guns we're shooting today. Um, it's definitely lightweight. I carry it a lot with my own uh, concealed system. Yeah. How did it feel from the prone? Was that great? Okay. Yeah, and rollover, it was fine. I felt real confident making the hits with it. So, cool. Next up. Uh, you know, going sideways like that, it's awesome. <laughs> so, we're just doing doubles on this, right? Just doubles. I forgot. Two that. right, two left. Yeah. Okay. And then when you come to the end, five. Fives. Yeah, okay, I forgot. Next up, Ruger LC9. Not super stoked on it. Neither am I, my friend. Trying to keep an open mind, though. It is reliable. Trigger just sucks on it, though. All right, so here we go. How's the, the speed? The speed's a little bit too fast to slow it down on this one. Okay. That way we get the quality footage. All right. So uh, take that into account for the times. Slow down, and if you need me to stop as a shooter, say so, so you can get in position. Roger. Okay. Give me a beat, bro. Maybe a little faster? too. Little, a little bit faster. Faster. <laughs> hey, move with a purpose. <laughs> Okay, two of them. See, it was a miss. Shot. Shot. All right, double tap. Jeez. Get the mag, reload. Okay. <clears throat> I'll wait for you. Going prone. Get it. Just two. Five, my bad. <laughs> so I think I got that center plate. Three out of five. Okay, double taps. Strong hand, weak hand. Roger. One more on that. Alright, five. Five Z's. Well, I forgot how the trigger is on the LC9. I mean, I talk about it, but unless you're ready for it, you know, you just don't know. And so I missed one of the rounds on that really close IPSC because my trigger was so bad. My trigger control was so bad. So coming to the first place, I was like, okay, LC9, like the PF9 kel you got to stage that trigger. Pull it halfway, then finish it off. That's how you hit with it. You don't do a straight pull through like I was doing on the front. So... My actually got better as I went along. Yeah. It's ac I mean, it's accurate enough. It's just you got to work through the trigger. It's very reliable from my own shooting. So, and it is flat. Look at that. And an interesting data point, perhaps, is if you guys are running like a finger wrist rest, um, you know, magazine plate. In my shooting right now, it didn't really help me. Now my hands are a large size, but I was actually coming off here. 
I didn't feel like I didn't feel like the finger rest did anything for my stability at all. Didn't add positive control. Not really. No. So, good gun. I mean, it's good. Let's see. I'm not sure why this is not giving us a time. Whatever. Ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right, that's LC9. It did good. You got to give it props, man. It's running fine. I, I don't. I it wasn't hit like the Glock though on that tactical torso target i mean i think i only got like three or five on the center plate and by the way we're counting one point hit on the the main plate but that center plate right here guys is uh two points every time you hit that from rollover prone all right let's move it on giving you a shot of the center plate so extended magazine car pm9 next up how thin that one is I've got decal grip on this gives a better purchase stock sights faster that's good good speed uh-oh Double taps. In position? In position. Good hits. Just a failure to go into battery on that one. You there? In. That strip around. Fivesies, I think, on that. Yeah, that was five. Car PM9 pocket pistol shootout. Good hits. Decided to go single handed on that one. Swinger plate is two points apiece, main body one point. Oops, my bad. One for extra measure. One failure to go into battery, bad. Yeah. Car PM9, huh. Called it. I thought that one. You might. called it. You did. Yeah. Uh, there's just something about the. Here's a loaded magazine. About the angle of presentation of the car pistols, that if this gets dicked up, I've seen them have problems. Like pop rounds off. <laughs> I've just seen it. So. I don't know. It was minor. I was able to slam the, the slide into battery, but still, it was a, a stoppage. Yeah. You still have to work through it. Yeah. yeah. Good accuracy. I love the trigger on it, though. It was easy to make kits with. It really was. So uh, I still love the gun. You might notice that some of our targets are pulled in from some of our normal pistol drills here we do in TMP. Kind of like trench warfare, eat lead drill. Some of those shots are ranging out to about 28 yards, which is honestly kind of insane for a pistol <laughs> drill. Yeah. Especially a pocket pistol. <laughs> yeah. So this is a pocket pistol drill. They're pulled in a little bit. We are probably not shooting beyond, what would you say, eight yards? Eight yards, 10 maybe at the most. 10 yards maybe. Those side plates, I don't know, that far, farthest one. So that's what we're running. And it, I think that's a realistic drill for, again, a gun like this. Say hello to the MP9 Shield. I think we're going to love it. I think it's going to be 100% reliable. Let's kick it. there. Love that trigger. Nice trigger. Here I'll let you lay down first and I'll plop right in front of you. Five of them. Nice. 
magazine change. How many more? Two? Two. Ah. Hit the steel, not the plate on that. Double tap from the knee. Strong hand, weak hand. Miss. Three. Shield. First time shooting it. Uh, wasn't spectacular accuracy. I had some misses in there. Uh, and especially that plate disappointed me because I felt good on uh, where I was pulling but I just didn't connect with a center swinger plate in the tactical torso. So uh, I think it's hitting on. I think it's my trigger manipulation on the shield. And I do that often when I go from another pistol to the shield. Where's the excuse cone? It's close enough. Right there. Let me get out of the way so you can grab it. Show it so they know. See? That's the We're excuse cone. Range. So not the best run. Probably the worst accuracy yet I've had. Uh, it was a first time run with a shield. We'll see if it improves. Great reliability. Still love the gun. Trigger pull? I love the trigger pull. Okay. It's just, I gotta make it work for me and hit lead to the target. So next up we got the kel PF9. Just getting loaded up ready. Stage that trigger on your PF9. If you do, you'll get wicked accuracy out of it. Three more? Three more. Yeah, I'm not getting that center plate though. 100% reliable. A oh, single hand. I just got one more on this. It's like throwing a football with your left hand. I sucked. It's a little strange. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Okay, five more. Three more. Like I said, awesome accuracy. <laughs> Look at the front side insert fell out. So it had like a optic insert. So these are the aftermarket sites at uh, Caltech cells. And so I was, as I'm shooting, I'm trying to figure out if, if I was shooting a white dot and then I figured, oh, it's gone. I'm shooting a, a peep sight on the front. <laughs> And I think it was shooting high for me. Yeah. So the time I hit, I was aiming lower plate. So 100% reliable. Yeah. Uh, I don't mind the trigger at all on this gun. It can shoot very well. Uh, I didn't really, I don't know, demo that too good on the tactical torso because I don't even think I hit that center plate once on that run. I might pop a few rounds of paper and just see where I'm hitting so next run I know where to aim. Okay. Plus when you roll over prone, uh, your aim point changed a little bit. So if it's shooting high, you're actually going to aim left center plate on it. I love the Keltec though. PF9 is still awesome. Look how thin. 12.7 ounces this gun. Comfortable to carry all day. It is. And I think Keltec is transitioning to ISO 9001 manufacturing standards, which should alleviate all the quality control problems they've had in the past years. Next up. SIG 938. Time to shine. It was superbly accurate in our testing. Very reliable. See how it does out here in the shootout. You good to run with me on this? Good to run with you. All right, dude, let's hit it. Hey, I thought you were running with me, man. I'm running with you. Let's go. 
This isn't really a run, it's a freaking jog. With Army in tow, you gotta kinda slow things down. <laughs> Your lieutenant's gonna love that comment. Oh yeah, he is. His, his lieutenant's a big TMPer, right? Big TMPer. Hey LT, what's up? <laughs> I'll let you go ahead and get in position there. Yeah. Corporal. That way you can come in. Yeah. I'll secure it. Yeah. <laughs> After you secure it, Air Force rolls in. Yes. Ready. All right. Sig 938. Expecting good things. Magazine's almost empty. Oh, yeah, it is. I think I got two out of five on the swinger. How's the pace, okay? Good, good. Oh yeah, we're kneeling on this, Kneeling. Huh? Ooh, I missed that. Should do a left hand reload, right? Yeah, you gotta practice. Never said I was good. Five of them. Come on, Sig. Well, then there's that. I'm surprised I missed those. <laughs> I was trying to. Trying to miss her? Yeah. <laughs> well, you could go for the easy points, body shots, those are one point a piece. I'm just going for the swinger. I love this 938, it's an awesome gun. Awesome gun, reliable, very accurate. I'm not demonstrating that to its maximum extent on that run. You get the picture. LCR, time to play. Man, I like shooting revolvers in these drills. It's so fun. It's just fun, man. Love that gun too. Ready to run? Ready to run. You got the Jody's ready? Let's do it. Where's the Jody's? She's Are on the couch. Coming? LCR! Reload. No dump patch on right now. Five rounds goes Five quick. rounds. You're gonna have to reload on this one. Yeah, I am. I'll let you get in position there. <clears throat> LCR from rollover prone. Oh, he hits it. Hits it. One more. Love the LCR. Freaking rocks. One round, then a reload. Maybe no rounds. Stage your trigger on your LCR. That's how you hit with it, like we talked about earlier. Great gun. It's just five rounds. It's not enough for me, bad, in a CCW roll. Yeah. Not when I carry these guns, I'm carrying eight, you know, with the extended magazines. If I'm running a, a Glock 26, I'm carrying 13 rounds. Yeah. I was, I was surprised at your accuracy, though. I was, this just hasn't been my experience shooting a revolver. I've never run a revolver through a drill like this, but I'm excited to see what I'm going to do when it's uh, my turn. Yeah, and we'll train you a little bit before you run. Yeah. So we're going to go through some drills with you so you get a little bit more comfortable with that trigger. Drawing firing is a great way to do it with LCR. So if you just come up and stage, watch my sight, my front sight. If it's not moving, you got good trigger control. 
It's just like pretty much every gun out here. You just have to master its trigger and the grip on it. Yeah. Love it. It's really going to be hard to pick a favorite from this drill. It is. They're all pretty much awesome. 